Partial seizures occur when the excessive electrical discharge is limited to one part of the brain, a single hemisphere, or just part of a lobe. The symptoms of the seizure will vary depending upon the specific location in the brain where the focal seizure originates or spreads to. Simple partial seizures. Person remains aware, cannot completely control function or behavior, commonly referred to as auras. These seizures or auras are characterized by strange or unusual sensations, a whirling or tenderness in the stomach area, odors or visual abnormalities. Other characteristics of SPS include sudden or restless movement, hearing distortion, and a sudden sense of fear. Alteration of consciousness or memory is generally not associated with simple partial seizures. Complex partial seizures. Person experiences impaired consciousness, cannot completely control function or behavior. Complex partial seizures are often preceded by an aura. Auras are not unconscious acts. They are the funny smells, tastes, déjà vu, fear, and many other conscious warnings patients may experience. They are often identified by the manifestation of complicated motor and sensory action. There may be some change in consciousness or memory. A partial seizure seen here in the temporal lobe may spread becoming a generalized seizure. A generalized seizure affects the neurons of the entire brain. A generalized convulsion occurring in two phases, tonic phase, stiffening of the muscles, the person loses consciousness and falls as the body grows rigid, clonic phase, body extremities jerk and twitch. After the seizure, consciousness returns slowly. When the person wakes up, they are often confused or disoriented. Characterized by a complete loss of awareness, the person may stare into space and appear to be daydreaming or in a daze. Absent seizures are not preceded by a warning aura, and are followed by normal activity by the individual. There is very minimal movement during the actual seizure, so many times it may go unnoticed by others. Some types of seizures, especially if prolonged or repeated frequently, can damage the brain. 